Smasherville Speedway, home of the final race in the Piston Cup racing season. To win the Piston Cup, everything has to go your way. Almost anything could happen to you out there. With everyone wanting that win, it can get dangerous. Go on, turn two, wipeouts in the wall. You have to listen to your team. Red sides only, let's go. And when it comes down into the checker, push it to the red line. Welcome to RSN. Welcome back, race fans. Today is the start of the new Piston Cup racing season. This season will be Chick Hicks' final season, so we're about to see him retire. But, does that mean he's going to go easy on Lightning? Not a chance. These two are going to have one final judge match. We are about to see who can conquer this short track. Racers, start your engine! Pace car in. Let's go racing, boys! As the pace car goes in, we go straight into racing. These racers have been going at it all day, and here comes the final lap. So let's dig it right down the back of the strip. Mr. McQueen, how many years ago was this, and why did it imply to me? Cruz, after I finished my first series in the Piston Cup, I came back to Rio Springs and basically did nothing for the whole time. So, Mac came up with an idea so I can go and train before I got back in the Piston Cup, which you got in sloppy ever since you won your last Piston Cup, so we think it's time for you to train a little bit. But still, why does it imply to me? Me and Mac think it'd be good for you, because, as he said before, let anybody with four wheels race for the Piston Cup, you know. But Mr. McQueen, I don't need the practice. I can beat you right now. Okay then, prove it. If you beat me here, you won't need the practice. But if you lose, you are definitely going to be practicing. Deal? Uh, Mr. McQueen, where are we? Welcome racers to Smashaville Speedway, home of today's practice race to see if Cruz Ramirez needs to train or not. Luigi, I love the energy you're giving, but it's only us here. Good point. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, go! Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't believe I lost last season to a rookie. <sighs> I even tried to get into her head like McQueen and it didn't work. I wish I could see her training, just so I could get a glimpse of what I'm up against this next season. Now, I can't give you a glimpse of what her training looks like, but Smasherville's on the left. Do you want to practice there a little bit? Are you crazy? No. I got my simulator. I don't need to go outside and practice. And our winner is Lightning McQueen. See, Cruz? You do need to train. You are getting extremely sloppy. Your turning was awful, and you didn't even keep a straight line. Half the time, you were just waving all over the field. So, I've got an idea. You and me, we're gonna go hit the beach for some for a little beach training again. Let's get a move on. Max hit, he's camouflaged himself again. But didn't he do that last time? Yeah, and it didn't work out that well. So, let's just load him up. He should be arriving any second now. Now, I can't give you a glimpse of what her training looks like, but Smasherville's on the left. Do you want to practice there a little bit? No, I do not want to go look and follow a poorly disguised Mac caller. It's not McQueen's or Cruz's, so I'm not going in. That was their hauler. They're there. I gotta sneak out of here so I can go spy on them. Okay, Mac, first stop is gonna be Thomasville Speedway. Let's get there as soon as possible. Hmm, I guess it's my lucky day. I looks like I'm going for a little road trip. Welcome back to RSN. The racing season is a few weeks away, and we are all excited for the beginning of the season. We're going to be seeing a lot of great racing, fighting for the newly coveted Lightning McQueen Piston Cup. Now, not many cars can have a Piston Cup named after them, so let's see if Cruz will take it from Jackson, or Jackson will take it from Cruz. Lightning, 
We're here. Uh, Mr. McQueen, this doesn't look like Thomasville to me. You're right, it's not Thomasville. This is the heartland of Carburetor County. Well, why are we here? Well, when I got my second piston cup, well, before then, I kind of trained a little bit. I raced some of the locals around Radi Radiator Springs, and now we are going to do the exact same thing with you. But all of them are slower than me, and they raced you, and you're not faster than me. I know. That's why you're racing another next gen. Um, who? Uh, Paul Conrad is going to come and help you. You both need the training, and we thought this would be a great idea. So, it's going to be you and Paul versus me and Ponchi. And here they come now. Ponchi. Lightning. Man, I haven't seen you since what? I got fired? Yeah, man, how's it going? How's it going with you? Your paint job looks great. I'm just doing wonderful. How about you? Oh, I'm doing terrific. As much as I love seeing both of you guys catch up, we both know we're here for a reason. Now tell us, what are we here for? It's simple. Me and Ponchi are going to tag team race both of you. We're going to see if you guys can work together. Okay then, let's do this! Do you realize that just because you have fire on your paint job don't mean you can go as fast as you like? Yeah. Well, you better realize that soon, even though you say you realize it. Listen, next time you do that, we're gonna put you in the slammer. This is our reality. Let's do this, Luigi. Three, two, one, go! Did anyone want to the class? Yeah. We have to chase down one more speed in the day. Let's do this, Ponchi. Storm, are you okay? Storm? <gasps> He's gone. Now that was pretty impressive. Hey, great job, guys. That was pretty impressive. It reminds me of the good old days. Thanks, Smokey, but we did break a bunch of laws, so we probably should have pulled over. Yeah, but, the ne but those next gens got some good training. Cruz and Paul are teaming up. Well, looks like I'm gonna need to find myself a teammate. Well, we'll see you guys at the track. Good luck. Thanks, McQueen. We'll see you guys there. See ya. Alright, guys, I think it's time we better hit the road. So, let's get ready. Welcome back to RSN. In two weeks away, the brand new r racing season will start. But we got some terrible news. Jackson Storm has gone missing. If anybody knows his whereabouts, please contact us immediately. And now there's going to be a little bit of some brighter news tonight, that Cruz Ramirez and Paul Conrev are now teaming up this season. Do we know what that's going to mean? No, we really don't. But we're going to find out. So guys, keep watching, because soon, it's race time. Do you realize you have been the fourth race car? Actually, no, the fifth race car today that we've had to chase down. Son, you're coming with us. We ain't taking anybody for granted. Anything else you want to say before we take you to the slammer? Uh, catch me if you can, slow pokes. Why does this always happen when I take a drive? 
At least it can't get any worse. That's it. Going home. I'm done. Um, Mr. McQueen, uh, where are we? Welcome, racers, to 360 Speedway! This track is one of the best ones out there. I should know. I built it myself. And I had a little help from my friend Shu Todoroki, who is somewhere around here, actually. <sighs> oh, great. Now we're gonna see how well his track building skills are. Lightning! Shoo, what's up, my man? Eh, not much. I retired after the whole World Grand Prix thing. I see you have two. And, are you training her? Uh, yes, actually. After the Florida 500, I resigned and became her crew chief. And now I'm helping her train for the Piston Cup. Or, actually, the Lightning Cup named after myself. And, you need my help at our home track. I understand that. Now, what do you need help with? You're gonna help by doing one thing I know you want to do. How about we have a little race? You, me, and Cruz. Let's do this, McQueen. I'm ready to go. Oh, great. She's a lot faster than I remember. Well, I better pick it up. Man, this could not get any harder. What is this place? Uh, that's 360 Speedway. It's known for its treacherous right and left turns, and like it says in the name, sometimes something will surprisingly come up from the bottom. Hicks. Storm. Thought you were on the run. No. Why would you say that? Maybe because you're wanted by two local sheriff's deputies. Great. If you ever need any advice on racing, just come and talk to me. Yeah, okay. You'd beat me and Lightning at our own track. That takes some skill. Congratulations. Yeah, Kuru, you actually did really well at this track. How'd you deal with the, um, spiking things popping up? Uh, Mr. McQueen, my tires are blown. Well, that would do it. I'll see you later, Shu. Me and her gotta get to our first race. We're going straight to Sun Valley. Well, good luck, Lightning and Cruz. I hope you win. Welcome back to RSN Race Fans, as the top story in the racing world still is that Jackson Storm has been missing. He has not been seen for the past three days. Any new information about his whereabouts would be greatly appreciated, but if he's not here in time for tomorrow's race at Sun Valley, we're just not going to have him race, I guess. And we're not going to wait for him. Welcome, race fans, to Sun Valley International Speedway. Hey, Cruz. It's time for you to show the world what you can do. Listen to that crowd cheer! Welcome back to RSN, where we're trackside at the Sun Valley International Speedway. I'm here with my broadcasting partner, Daryl Cartrip, and I am Bob Cutlass. Bob, this is one of the hardest tracks to master as a rookie. Unless you're known for driving on not even pavement, this track is not for you. That is right, Daryl. This track is known for its banking in not just the turns, but also the straightaways. As you can see, this track is what we call as... The Cleaner Upper. This track has gotten that name after how many countless wrecks have been here. Now, the problem with that is, with this track, since it's at the angle, the cars will slide down to the inside. And the turns, that's, ama that's awful. Not amazing at all. If you can, but in these straightaways, you got a good chance. So basically, if you see a wreck, make sure you go to that top line. We are now trackside with Strip Weathers, aka The King, and Lightning McQueen. Now guys, what do you think is the best strategy for winning this race? Since you both have won every race you've ran here besides McQueen. You lost the first ever race you ran here because you were racing against Strip. So, I'll start first. When me and the King used to race each other here, 
it was always fun, but there's one thing I noticed. My strategy, take the outside on the straightaways and then cut down into the inside on the turns. Now, strip strategy was completely different. His, take the outside on the straightaways, but on the turns, he would go to the inside. But once this nice groove appeared in the middle of the, tr of the turn, he would take that. So he could keep more speed into the turn and then get off with a faster speed. Now that is a great strategy. That's one I kind of wanted to master myself, but never did. So, if I have any recommendations, do strip strategy, because it worked out really well. Well, let's stop babbling, then let's get racing! Okay, Cruz. Everything you've learned up to this point, use in this race today. No matter what it was, no matter how weird. Even the last race with Shu, that spike thing was just by pure coincidence, but... Use everything, and let's win this race. Now, Bob, with Jackson Storm missing, what will that do to his season? That's a great point, Daryl. With Jackson Storm missing, now his season is going to start off with zero points into the record. These cars are coming off the pits, and Jackson Storm's hauler is still here. So, we don't know if he is coming and we don't just see him with his hauler, or, or we're just going to start without him. Because the cars, as I just said, are coming off the pits, and we're coming out to the checkered flag. Let's go, boys. Keep playing the way you're running. We're not getting any farther away from the guards behind us, but we're peeling away from that backpack. Just keep chasing down Dan, and I'll see you in pit road in two laps. Welcome back, and we are now halfway through this amazing first race of the season. So, there's really been no caution flags, has there, Strip? Not that I've seen. And, now that brings up the big question. A lot of cars are going to have to pit here soon. So, will they do it under green? Or if there's a caution, will they wait? A lot of these cars will do it under green, but when there's a caution, you're going to expect to see everybody running through. Well, the front pack has finally caught up to the backpack, and they're getting ready to lap them, so we may see some caution flags. Okay, Cruz, at this point, just don't get into a wreck, and you'll be fine. Cruz, I need you to follow me. With the red flag out and a bunch of cars rushed into the infield care center, we do not know what's going to happen. And one of them just came out now. Here is Eric Breaker. Man, I just gotta say it. Factual Drive needs to find a new driver. He is not good. We weren't having the best day ourselves, but before that caution came out, I was slowly starting to make my way back up the pack with all the places I had lost. But man, he essentially ended our day. But on the bright side, next week we're going straight to Smasherville, which has always been a track of mine that I've really enjoyed. So, well, I guess we'll see you guys then. The green light's on, pit road's open, and everyone's coming in. Well, everybody that can still race at least. Now remember, Cruz, if we win today, we are in the playoffs, so run as fast as you can. A few laps to go in a short lane to victory. Who will take Sun Valley as their new home track? Miras, go to the outside. I'll push her all the way to the lead. This is it, Daryl. The final time, the last lap. Strip, any words of encouragement or any advice you would give? I got one big one. Don't wreck out. Cruz, don't get too cocky. This is the time you will get past. Watch your insides and outs. These will, guys will push you till there's no tomorrow. Dan, down the back stretch, I'm gonna push you on the outside. Make sure you don't follow Konarev. Okay, Barry, let's win this thing. Garcia and Ramirez are tied for first place. And DePetal and Konarev are tied for second. No one knows who's gonna win this. And just like that, the race is over. Cruz Ramirez is our new Sun Valley Champion. Way to go, Ramirez. Ramirez is now winning her first cup race here at S Sun Valley. My question is, where was Storm? He has never missed a race since he became a driver in the series. And the only question is, where is he? His hauler was here, and so was his team. 
So, with Ramirez now joining Lightning McQueen and Strip Weathers in the winner's circle, let's head over there now. Thank you, Daryl. We are trackside now with the winner and the third place finisher. Now, Cruz, you've won this race, and Paul, you had a really amazing run. I know you guys have teamed up. McQueen has told me all about this. Now, the only question is, do you know how the point system works in this? No? Okay, well, basically it works like this, Cruz. So, you've won this race and you are in the playoffs, but there's one key thing that we're keeping this year. If you lose a bunch of races and don't finish in the top 15 or do not finish three races in a row, <laughs> your playoff dreams, you're not guaranteed a spot in. Only 10 racers are guaranteed a spot in. And if you wreck out three races in a row, or finish under 15 three races in a row, your ticket to the playoffs isn't punched. We'll take it back. So just keep winning, and we'll see you in the playoffs. Well, that will wrap up the great race at Sun Valley. We'll see you all next week at Smashervale. Make sure you're watching RSN, and let's go racing! Dang, how did I miss the race? Eric! Oh, great, now you show up. I don't care where the heck you've been. I just want to know why you weren't here. I had the worst day for racing possible, and you were supposed to be here to help me get to the checkered flag. Huh? We are teammates, Storm. Team Mate, does that mean nothing to you? You know what? I'm done. We're, we're done. Nope. Nope. Bye, Storm. Losses suck, don't they, Storm? Get in your holler. I'm training you. Okay. Welcome back, racers, to RSN, and we are halfway through the exciting Copper Canyon 500. Chris Ramirez and Paul Connor have been leading the pack all day, but it looks like Chris, Roman, and a few other drivers may be challenging them for their spots. Cruz, Connor, do not give up. Come on, guys, pick it up. Paul Connor wins at Copper Canyon. Congratulations to the night's winner of Paul Conrev. Now, Paul, you had Cruz Ramirez pushing you the entire race, and that was not one of the easiest tracks to win on. So, how do you think that's going to help you later on in the standings? I really can't even tell you, Bob. But hopefully, we can win more races like that, and me and Cruz can both go on to the championship. Hopefully, none of us get bad finishes and kick us out. Thanks for watching tonight's race coverage on RSN. Now, tomorrow night at Smasherville, on this same channel, there's going to be the Thunder Hollow Thunder Night, which is basically the track at Smasherville will be transformed into a crazy eight, and a bunch of those racers will be having a great time. And we'll see you guys then. You both did amazing tonight. In fact, I think you guys should go celebrate. I heard Bob Cutlass talking about some Thunder Hollow Thunder Night, so why don't you, Cruz, Ponchi, and Conrad go all down there, because it would just be a great way to celebrate the win. Uh, sure, Mr. McQueen, but why aren't you coming with us? I'm going on a date with Sally that night, so that's why I'm not going to go with, but have fun, you guys. How is it possible he got a girlfriend after destroying the town that she was living in? Yet I've been trying so hard and I can't even get that. Ponchi, you tried too hard. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I have put too much energy and time into both of you to not have a good race. What was that? Storm not working together is what that was. Oh yeah, cause you're Mr. Perfect, Eric. You could have been faster, and it would have helped us a lot more. Do you want to go, Storm? I've been waiting patiently to put a dent in that ego of yours. Yeah, let's go, Breaker. Let's see if you can actually do anything about it. Boys! What? Eric, you gave me a great idea. After you saying you want to put a dent in Jackson Storm's ego, I thought, why not have a little fun with that? I sent you both up for a demolition derby this weekend. Let's see if any of you boys are actually great at that.
Welcome, race fans, back to RSN for tonight's Thunder Hollow Thunder. Tonight is going to be a very different night. Normally, Thunder Hollow is the name of the track, and they just held a demolition derby. But tonight, Thunder Hollow Thunder will be bringing themselves straight to the home of all smashing and crashing known as Smasherville Speedway. This track is known for hard racing and crashing. And now they're going to be taking the infield, and they're going to be seeing if they can win this race. Now, we have a few familiar faces in the Demolition Derby tonight. Two of our next gens, Eric Breaker and Jackson Storm. Daryl, am I reading that right? Yes, you are, Bob. Okay, well, I guess Jackson Storm is going to be in there with Eric Breaker. And, wait. Mater too? Oh, this is going to be a fun little race we have going on tonight. Now remember, there's one main thing about this race that's very different. The fans are sitting on the main stretches on the straightaways of Smasherville Speedway. But those curves, turns 1, 2, 3, and 4, if you have enough speed, you can ride on them. But we must warn you, if you ride on them, and you don't, turn off you will hit a wall and you will not like where it ends well bob i guess we're going to be stop talking now because we're going to see mater and apb lead the pack straight into turn one uh-oh the 45 has stalled out <laughs> well bob now we know why she's called the diva of demolition she has taken out successfully almost all of the cars besides three Three cars remain in Miss Fritter's way from winning tonight's Demolition Derby. Wait. What? Fritter's down! Bob, I guess. It's about time you guys showed up. Where have you been? Well... Welcome back, race fans, to the Glen Helen 400. I'm Bob Cutlass, joined with my broadcasting partner, Daryl Walter. Today is going to be an extraordinary race for... The checker is out, and now it's going to be a drag race to the finish. And the rookie has won his first cup win. Okay, Chris, now we gotta go meet Paul and Ponchi down in Carburetor Canyon. This is going to be where the next, well, the all-star race is. So, you did good during practice today. Before we go, though, Ramon, get me into some Christmas style. It's Christmas time. Alright, let's go. Uh, Mr. McQueen, why are we up here? A little bit of training for you and Paul, and also turn around. Whoa, that's a really nice tree. Anyway, Cruz made it into the All-Star Race with the silver paint job. Only three next-gens got there. Connor of Sally, you didn't make it with a silver paint job, but Tim Trellis did somehow. And so did Jackson Storm. But we're, we thought it'd be a little bit of fun for you guys both to train under, under this condition, which is basically an old racetrack with an active rail line now built into it. Y'all know the rules. Once that train passes, we start. It's fine. It's not like the track's gonna magically change. And the queen, was that flat car always there? Well, we're dead. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Anyway, I guess we're gonna have to beat this train. Come on, guys. We're gonna have to draft, guys. Come on. Well, I'll we'll see you guys at the All-Star race.
I still cannot believe you somehow managed to get us to beat a moving train. Kinda funny how stuff works out, isn't it, Punchy? Now, how many times have you done that before? Because it clearly seems like you've done it more than once. Yeah, back in 06, I did it one time. You are too full of surprises, McQueen. When did you, of all people, get a train? I... never got a train, but that's a really good picture of me. Welcome to the greatest day in racing, at the Glen Helen All-Star Race. I'm Bob Cutlass, joined with Daryl Cartrip, Brett Mustangberger, and David Hobbscap. Now David, how does this track work? Well, this is normally one used by Indy cars and other race cars. Not really Piston Cup drivers, but your driver McQueen came from this track and he almost won the Royal Grand Prix here. Not here, but in Japan. Anyway, these cars are going to have such a fun track tonight. And also, there are three silver car next gens up in this field. Tim Treadless, Cruiser Mirrors, and Jackson Storm. Each one has a mentor that was a past Piston Cup champion. Seven-time champion, the King, is looking after Tim Trellis tonight. Lightning McQueen is another seven-time champion after Cruz Ramirez. Jackson Storm has been under the mentor of Chick Hicks, has been said. And that's basically it. Also, the fan vote has been in with three new cars being added to the silver list. And those are going to be very interesting to see. Oh yes, they will be. Now, let's get racing. Hey, McQueen, get out of the pits. You're the last silver car. Sweet, let's do this. Hey, Ramon. Can I ask for a little favor? Anything for you, boss. Three racers, you have voted in to this year's All-Star Race. is Miguel Camaro, Jeff Corbett, and Lightning McQueen. <sighs> okay, here we go. Focus. It's showtime at the Glen. Welcome back, race fans, as we are halfway through the exciting Showtime at the Glen 700 All-Star Race. Today, we are seeing a lot of great racing. Let's listen to Tim, Tim Trellis' headset as we go under the hood of how he's leading so far. They're getting loose in turn 3 and 4. A caution could be coming soon. Break for loose in the turn 3 and 4. Sideways in the turn four. Oh, and he's up in the air. Oh, and he took out Corvette and Camaro. Pace car is out to slow down the field. The pit road is open. Any car that wants to go in, will go in. What? Why? As everybody's going to the pits besides McQueen, which who will stay out to take the lead. I mean, there's only really five cars, but he was the only one that had fresh enough tires to make it to the end. Let's see what he does with them. McQueen's still out? Didn't he pull this when he was a rookie? Storm, why are you so far back in the field? Get yourself up to McQueen and wreck him! You don't think I know that? I want to get up there to win that million dollars, but I can't find the good line here. Get there in the next three laps or it's not going to be pretty. New leader, Jackson Storm. And on the outside, fading back. Storm, nice and easy. We ain't need any cautions out here. 
No, not nice and easy. If someone tries to pass you, turn them into the wall. Roger that. Kid, you okay? Yeah, everything's okay. I know Storm's gonna get a little hot-headed after he passed me, and Chicken and his crew chief are gonna celebrate, and they're all gonna think that I'm freaking out in my head after a crash from last year. But I'm planning on pulling a move that Doc taught me. Okay, let's see it. Uh, still waiting. Watch this. Why is he helping us? McQueen, drafting Storm. Like two June bugs on a summer night. Junior, you know what this reminds me of? I, I agree. It's kind of like the high definition remake. Let's go, McQueen! He's sticking to me. I can't shake him off. Final lap. It's too wide down the back stretch. McQueen flips over Storm to take the checkered flag. Lightning McQueen wins. He takes his first win since Jackson Storm has shown up into this Cup Series. And this is probably his last at Glen Helen. You got a lot of stuff, kid. Let's go, Mr. McQueen. I will make sure they never win another race again. Congratulations, Team McQueen. Welcome back, race fans, to the Smasherville 600. Today is going to be one of the most historic races of all time. We've got two legends in the field of Lightning McQueen and Chick Hicks. Daryl, tell them what's changed about this track. The track was just re recently repaved. The old track had a bunch of potholes in it after last season. And now, that may change a lot of strategies. McQueen's old line won't work like it used to but nor will some of the next gen's old lines. That's great, but one problem at this new track is there's no grooves anywhere. You're gonna have to make them. Let's meet this race's starting lineup. Let's meet who's in this Smasherville 600. Starting off in row 12, we'll have H.J. Hawes and J.D. McPillar. Going off row 11 will be Barry DePetal and Ed Trunkman. Now we'll throw Guns in and Kramer against each other. Row 9 will include Jonas Carvers and Herb Kerbler. Row 8 will see the buddies of Juice Drivewell and Michael Roeder challenging each other. Row 7 will host Aaron Clocker and Chris Roman. It's the Boing Spinner Show in Row 7. You know these guys are going to have some fun today. Paul and Daniel will roll off Row 5. Dan Garcia and Eric Breaker will roll off in Row 4. Spikey Phillips and Sheldon Shifter will roll off in Row 3. Tim Trellis and Chase Racela will roll off in row two. Row one will consist of Jackson Storm and Cruz Ramirez. Now here is your pole row. Position two will be Thunder, aka Chick Hex. And you can't have Thunder without a little lightning. The legend is back. Looking good as Lightning McQueen will roll off position one. And it's babbling, you two. Who y'all picks? Well, the King, my pick is Lightning McQueen. You've never seen him lose at this track. Even when you raced him, he beat you. Which was pretty surprising since you've also never lost at this track. McQueen's got someone in the bag for me. Yes, that's true, Daryl. But Chick Hicks has got one of the most outstanding second place finish records at this track. Yes, it's called Smasherville. But that's because he loves crashing everybody here. This track is made for him. Yeah, you all got a point. That those drivers could win, but you're missing out on the main choice. Cruz Ramirez, she has got to be one of the newest and fastest drivers on this field. She's got my vote. Now, I know better than to mess with the king, but I'm saying that J.D. McPillar has got this race in the bag. Yes, he's starting from last, but that's okay. He's worked his way up from a lot farther back positions in his earlier cup races. You boys left out the most obvious choice, Jackson Storm. He, yes, he has got one of the fastest top speeds, and he could honestly push any of them out of the way. 300 laps have been completed with 300 still more to go. Lightning McQueen has pulled away with seven other cars chilling behind him. This will be one of the most epic races in the history of the Out. Big wreck in turn four. 
Green lights on, pit road is open, and not many of the 24 starting cars are leaving out of that crash. <coughs> Nothing can ruin this perfect night of racing. Well, besides that, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you tomorrow for the conclusion of the Smashville 600. Turn four. Green lights on, pit road is open, and not many of that 24 starting cars are leaving out of that crash. <coughs> Nothing can ruin this perfect night of racing. Well, besides that, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you tomorrow for the conclusion of the Smashville 600. Caution's out. Be sure to tire and turn four will put us under our fourth caution of the day. Great job, guys. Welcome back to the Smasherville 600. We are now at lap 455. With a cut tire down on Cam Spinner, we will have been put under our fourth caution of the day. Sixth of the entire race. It started last night. It got thunderstormed out. The track dried and the crews are back on pit road. Boys, this race has sure been one for the record books, but Lightning McQueen leading almost every lap besides when Chase Racelet came out of the pits and took the lead from him. So, does that mean that Chase has got a better chance of winning than Lightning? Probably. We would ask Natalie Certain, but she kind of got kicked out of here. She was always having a bad attitude, and we didn't like it. Chick Hicks, though, has been falling back in the pack. It's not going to be good for him today. <laughs> Caution out! Turn one has a big car pileup. Well, Bob, that's smashable for you. As only one car was able to escape that crash without having to be taken off by a tow truck, and that would be Lightning McQueen. The back right is killed, guys. McQueen has successfully made it to his pit box.
Four drivers are now left in this field, and one of them has some damage. Now, this will be one of the most exciting last four laps of this season. Probably because Cruz Ramirez could take another win, Storm could get his first, Chick could get his first win in forever, and McQueen could go off a two-win race this season. Anyway, the pace car is in, and they're under the green flag. You've been racing clean all day. That's unlike you. Okay, what do you think of this? <laughs> that little... Hey, no cursing. It's family night. Hey, Storm, if Chick brings it into the pits, follow him. Bring it down, pay road, Chick. We got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Looks like that's gonna be a mandatory four-tire stop for everybody. As they restart. Don't swear me, Chick. You spun the tires yourself. The white flag is out, but the next flag will end it. And the legend will hold off the two rookie next gens and Chick, winning his seventh Smasher Bill Cup trophy. Well, King, you and McQueen were tied for cup wins at this track. Now, he's beaten you. He's had one more win here than you have. So does that mean next year you're going to come out here and race him for it? Oh, definitely not. He'll probably win. Oh, that's great motivation, King. Anyway, we will see you guys at our next race, which will be the Motor Speedway of the South. And hopefully, the more next gens will do a lot better next, next week because they... We're inspiring this week. McQueen has won, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey everyone, Fabulous95 here. Today, I just wanted to say thank you because Smashville Saga is officially one year old. It started off as a little pipe dream I had, and we've seen how it became. And I thought, what better way than to celebrate its one year anniversary than to remake, well, to make a part two to one of my favorites, and the most popular Smashville Saga, Smashville Saga, Sun Valley Showdown. Now, is it going to be as good as the original? Probably not. And it will not have Holler Studios as a guest artist because I was actor because I couldn't find a way to put Doc into it. But anyway, this will hopefully be one of your favorites. And because it's a year old, Sinister Saga is now a year old. Later today, along with this video, I'm going to post a video having every single Smashville Saga that is up to date currently. Anyway. You guys are the best. Thanks for watching the Smashville Saga. I hope you enjoy. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Because every month I try to get one Smashville Saga out. And if I don't have one every and if I don't have one once a month, be well sure it's gonna come out second month. The only reason that this month was different was because school and other reasons stopping me. Well, I hope you enjoy. This is Smashville Saga 10, Sun Valley Showdown 2. The storm will win the Fire Flasher 400. Down the performance, Tim Trellis will win. Problems will send the 51 home early. Thanks for watching the RSN recap as we bring you trackside to Sun Valley for the Sun Valley Showdown. <laughs> Man, that caution gun had a better timing. Hmm, you're telling me. Fillmore, how are we doing on fuel? Can you make it to the end? I'm telling you, man, we can get there. Great. Cruz, you're faster than Storm in the long run. Just hit it hard. And Tex, watch this. Copy. Green flag, and we're back to racing. I'll tell you what, Daryl, this front pack has easily gapped themselves from the second pack. Well, they were on the inside lane and were not in the crash, so we're going to see how long it takes before these guys get lapped. Dude, as much as it's going to pay me to say this, I miscalculated. You're going to have to come in and do one more pit stop. Everybody else is going to have to do one. Guys, get ready. I want a nice clean stop. Less than 10 seconds. An unexpected stop may curse that 51 team with a bad day. Either McQueen's team got really lucky, or they just knew the tire fall off was going to be that bad, because Ramirez has ran the fastest lap so far in the race. Boy, we got a lot luckier than I thought we would. Kid, you got this. Find the group that works to you and get back up there. 
After seeing the speed and success those new fresh tires have on the car, every team is now on pit road leaving Ramirez the only one on the track. Man, you cannot get any luckier than that. Don't tear your stuff up. Keep it clean. Do what you gotta do. Now go, 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 go. Less than five to go, and Cruz Ramirez has the lead over Jackson Storm, Tim Trellis, Eric Breaker, and Paul Conrad. The last time she was here, she dominated towards the end of the race. Only one car was able to catch up with her, and that was Dan Garcia, who was stuck in the pits after the caution from earlier. Now, does anybody have anything left for Ramirez? I'm sorry, guys. I gave it everything I could. Man, Cruz is doing amazing right now, McQueen. You're telling me. Come on, Cruz. 199 laps, and baby, it all comes down to this. Right you are, Daryl. It's the final lap. This is it, Cruz. Got four turns left, one at a time. Drive them in deep, and you know what to do. Go. Down the back stretch. And now out of turn three and four for the final time. The 95 will go undefeated at Sun Valley. Let's go, champ. You're great. We'll see you next week, Cruz.